Hello everyone and thank you for coming to the channel. That channel is Dev Chanel's 48th World. Where we get down, we talk about everything, everybody. And we put our own spin on and our own opinions. And we open up the floor for the family to come on in and get their kikis, ha-has, and bring some enlightenment to the chat room. Where you put your comments, okay? Well, you see who we're going to be talking about today. And I got two or three more videos to bring out on this young woman, honey. Been needing leaks. Woo, child. She cracking the whip. She cracking the whip. She thinks she is, um, um, child, I don't forgot to lay the name and I'm put her up here. Joan Rivers, yes, Joan Rivers. Y'all remember when Joan Rivers called, um, uh, Michelle Obama transvestite. Y'all remember that? <laughs> <laughs> then shortly after we didn't hear from her because she was deceased. You hear what I'm saying? So sometimes you got to keep your mouth closed even though you want to say what you got to say. Sometimes it's better not to tell the public, the whole population, the world. Let's not go there. Okay. But right now, one thing that's for certain, one thing is for sure and two things for certain, Nene was Given her truth at this time. And remember, she believes she floats around people that have money. Okay? So I did find out who were the housewives she was talking about that went together and got her a pretty bouquet that cost $200 that she was trying to tell them. All of them are rich. Okay? They rich itches around here. Or at least they say they are. But when it's coming to put up what you, can, you know, to put up a shut up type of uh, demeanor, she said her friends fell short. Okay? The women that gave that $200 bouquet of roses or flowers or carnations, whatever, whatever it was. These are the women that did that. Okay? And... Nene is grieving. So that's one thing we got to keep in mind. You know, because drunks tell the truth. And people that are grieving tell the truth. They tell what's on their mind. They have no filter. And sometimes when you're getting older and you have more years behind you than you have ahead of you. You try to make peace with everybody. But when you're grieving, it kind of take a little, uh, what do you call it? You kind of make it go off the road. Go, You know. You, you just go out yonder somewhere and nobody can't bring you back until the Lord want to bring you on back. You know what I'm saying? Or somebody that's heavily spiritual that say, okay, you don't cut up enough. This is it. But I will give Nene at least six months to a year to clown on everybody. And then she'll probably come back. Those are the ones that really stick by her like glue. Whether she's acting out of character, whether she's acting, you know, more than what she needs to be showing. You know, those are her ride or dies. And I just really feel that Marlo is going to be one of her ride or dies. She takes the insults. She takes the, the backbiting Nene gives her. And at the end of the day, she goes and put her head in Nene's chest or Nene put her head in her chest and they they have a good cry you know what I'm saying now that's friendship that's solid that's down like four flat ties them kind of friends that you need uh with you uh for your journey through this lifetime you need those kind and I'm telling you you'd be grateful to have one hand that you have three fingers up or four fingers or even one that say they are your friends rock solid and bottom you know what i'm saying they got me and i got them we're gonna ride or die through this life all uh, time uh because a lot of people think they gotta have a whole entourage and when she hit the fan and, and, and things go south or you start coming down uh your ladder of uh elevating for whatever reason you know your friends start to disappear now them were your friends to begin with you just couldn't see for the what God I say you can't see the forest for the trees that's what you were embedded in you were seeing what was supposed to be in front of your face meaning your handlers your people that just want to be around you because you know you are the part of the um nightlife and the glamorous world and the, you rubbing head with the who's who and they just want to be there I call them the insects okay the insect people Oh, but anyway, Nene went on and on and on. She was giving her gratitude. But she did make a point, you know. 
if they supposed to be like being very frugal like candy is and i think cynthia is kind of frugal too um cynthia probably buys the best of the best that she don't have to keep adding on you know her fashions are just timeless you know what i'm saying because i told you cynthia give a mean face and boss fashion okay she knows about that life can't 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 ever take that away from her and i would never try and candy she's frugal she she likes to kind of repent and everything of that nature because she, she can't go back to living just a simple life you know what i'm saying even though she lives probably a simple life but she don't want to go back where she has to watch everything you know what i'm saying and then kenya well, hell, Kenya is just Kenya. She gonna do what she wanna do. But I think Kenya's kind of, you know, frugal too. But she don't like people to know that she's frugal. You know what I'm saying? But uh, and Marlo, you know, Marlo gonna have the style, the fashion, and everything. She don't care if she got a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out of. Okay, she don't care. She's just gonna be living good. How far she can live good, and and that's it. You know what I'm saying? It's if if she have to go back to her heyday, and we know what she's doing her heyday allegedly. I'm not even gonna speak it because I like Marlo. I like what she's doing. She got a peach, and hopefully she'll go into some more money where she don't ever have to go back to them. Uh, Lay May days back in the you know time we, you know we like doing scruples well no you're doing unsavory type things and you know people are like frowning at you or don't want to be around you you know she's doing some of them kind of things but you know hey to have for a, a saint to become for, well was well, you be a sinner and then you become a saint you know what I'm saying so I'm just watch watching the blood of Jesus watching the blood of Jesus okay but Nene. Nene, uh, you know, I could go off on Nene and say that was very tasteless, what she said, this, that, and third. But we got to remember, Nene is grieving. So you got to have empathy. You got to have empathy and you got to have a lower present. Because right now, Nene is acting like Joan Rivers right now. She's speaking her mind. And Nene knows she ain't no comedian. But she's saying in and everything. Because that's what she feel like. And she, she, she kind of probably feel like she lost too. You know what I'm saying? Because she just lost her best friend. And, you know, they said Nene had, you know... Call herself getting a divorce and whatever. But Greg was still at the house. Greg was still at the house. He was downstairs while Nene was upstairs. Okay. So to me, that was not a divorce situation. Because most people, when they get divorced, they ain't living in the same house or apartment or whatever you may, whatever type of dwelling you may be surrounding yourself in as a shelter. You ain't going to be with that person. Okay. But Greg and Nene, they're like freaking frat. They like peanut butter and jelly. They like cornbread and collard greens. You see what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. Buttermilk and cornbread. If you go that deep with the southern eating. You know what I'm saying? And put some fried green tomatoes on that. You got some there. You got some real good. Oh, you got some good eating, honey. Got some good eating. But that's what Nene is going through. She felt like these women, Kenya Moore, Cynthia Bailey, uh, Candy Burris, Marlo Hampton, they should have showed up and showed out. Now, what she wanted uh, from them, $200 worth of flowers each. I mean, what did she want them to just throw a $1,000 spray? No, Nene, you needed something to eat, baby. I know you had your lounge and all of that, but you don't want to get up there and ride and have somebody make you something. You know, you might be feeling a Chick-fil-A sandwich one day. You might be feeling um, Olive Garden, okay? You might be feeling Pizza Hut. Shoot, you might be feeling hella salad. You know what I'm saying? You, you, they could have just hooked you up instead of putting them out, putting them, um, putting them, putting that money on some flowers. They could have put that money on some food, some gift cards, what they should have gave you. A lifetime, but I maybe not a lifetime, but you know, maybe at least six months worth of, of good eating from whatever restaurant that's out there. Red Lobster, uh, where you got a uh, Long John Silver's, you got Popeyes, you got KFC. You know, you're on the run, you're on the go, you love that nightlife, you're just trying to get you a little something. I tell you, when you have your own business, that's a restaurant, you get tired of eating your own food. Now, that's just the bottom line. When I used to uh, work in my heyday, when I was a teenager at K KLC, Kentucky Fried Chicken, we had made some of the best chicken, okay? We were never told the secret of the recipe for the original uh, chicken, but it was, you know, it's all in white bags and just, you know, labeled what it's supposed to be like lard or this was butter or, or, or this is the spicy uh, stuff you put on um, the chicken when you're putting it in the batter and all that stuff. You know, they didn't give you no secret. with no ingredients. It was just these bags that had flour, you know, cabbage, uh, 
sauce or something. You know what I'm saying? Very generic. But I knew that was their money maker. So they weren't going to try to give me no secrets out. Well, you know, the black folk can steal it and try to go make it on their own and be pushing it out on the side down the street. Better than KLC. Come try me. You know, chicken. But, um, yeah. Nene just grieving, you know, because, you know, she, think about it. Kenya, well, I don't know if Kenya got a man or not, so she's a bad example. But she got old crazy Mark up there that's keep bothering her. She bothering him. So there's some, sim, some similar of a man in her life. You got Candy, you know, she got a man. Probably got a woman, too. You know, and then you got Marlo. She never lacked for company. You know what I'm saying? She can always find her somebody she want to deal with at the time. For the Caucasian persuasion, you know what I'm saying? And then you have um, Cynthia. You know, we ain't going to talk about Cynthia's husband, but we know she got a man, okay? Nene, right now, we don't know because she ain't divorced anything. She could have a man on the side and we don't know about it. She's just keeping him in the closet somewhere. So don't come out. Don't do that. you just for me. I don't need you to be seen. That, that kind of scenario going on. But if she don't have nobody, you know, that she could talk to, that's a male companion that can take her out and make her feel like a woman and all these kind of things. Take try to take her mind off stuff, you know what I'm saying? Or what her life really consists of now. So that's probably, you know, she's fighting with that demon right there. And then think about it. If you share this house, if you don't go on with your little toy, little boy, that's my do- uh, daughter's puppy. He getting on my nerve. He like to be by me since my son died. And I love him to death. Yes, I do. And he do take the space of my son, but he never will replace him. <sighs> but anyway. Will you stop that, little boy? And so, what was I, guys? Oh, I kind of want to talk about Nene. Acting like Joan Rivers. Like she's some rich white woman running around here. Just breaking everybody's chops down. You know, saying, well, you should have did this. You should have did that. You should have did this. You should have did that. Well, you know, Nene, one thing is for certain. Two things for sure. Child, ain't nobody gonna do you like you would do for somebody else. That's just that's the old adage out there, and it ain't, it ain't, it's just tried. It's tried and trusted, tried, true, and tested. What you give somebody out your heart and what you feel, where uh, may not be reciprocated back to you when it's time for you to be on a pedestal because you're grieving somebody and you want somebody to take care of you you can't just sit there and say okay you need to do it this way you need to do it that way these people probably haven't been trained like you they probably don't have that forethought like you you know and that's honestly that's that's honest tea given to you you know because hey i know i've helped set people up you think it's time when i got sick or, 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 or you know needed somebody they were there for me no, not no. Okay. And I got kind of salty about it. And I talked to myself sometime about it, you know. You know how you go when you be in a phone and you be talking about, now nah, they know they wrong. I did it, did it. You know, because we all talk to ourselves. And some people don't want to admit it. But you know you talk to yourself sometimes. Even if you up there talking about what you want to wear today when you dress for work. No, I don't want to wear that because it made me look this. You know what I'm saying? You still be answering yourself. So right now, Nene don't have that person that she can vent to so she has to go out in social media or any other outlet and 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 tell people how she feel because she said like everybody always asking her since she's not on the show you know what's the comings and goings what you feel gonna happen this that and third and that can get quite annoying you know especially when you're not on the show because shit i be trying to say uh bravo do y'all need a consultant do y'all need me to come over there and consult with y'all you know what i'm saying let's just bury old hatchets i had my way y'all had y'all way and let's negotiate you know i could see nene back uh with the housewives or uh, and not really on the show but maybe in the background and she's uh probably calling little shots here and there probably take Andy cohen's position you know what i'm saying that would be sweet because i'm tired of him already you know his job has come and gone and he, we need to bury him now meaning he needs to just fold up everything and go start something else new and let somebody else sit in the seat okay that's what i'm just saying you know let her be a go uh she could co-host on you know and, and then again you know v103 might be grooming her to come in and be a co-host for real like a, a, a real gig which i don't know how nene could do it because she like to drink and she got that nightlife going on i don't know if she could get up early in the morning and do that you see what i'm saying because she liked to be at her club or lounge or whatever she calls it these days but she has a live band she has good food i've never heard nene uh little lounge being um out in 
out in the public eye of, of known of flunking inspections, health code violation, of, and, you know, infractions. So it's just something she probably need to talk to Candy about. Candy need to go over there and hang out with her sometime and see how things are really ran. So Candy can get them um, those inspections up for the public. You know what I'm saying? Cause we don't want no food poison going around in here. So Nene has caught on to something good. But I don't think it's going to continue to satisfy her appetite for the Hollywood life or just the uh being a mom who's who you know what I'm saying she likes to be out in the spotlight and I, I like to see her in the spotlight I don't like for her to be cussing folks out or acting like you know she's untouchable when she get out there because that kind of get on my nerves too because you want sympathy from the public you want people to look at you a certain kind of way but then you don't want them in your space I'm like girl we can't have it both ways you want to either live in a fishbowl and people just be you know harass you in a nice way you know because some people get giddy when they see so-called celebrities reality stars or actors and actresses running around him I don't because I'm like they put their pants on the same way I do they might just have a, 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 a expensive brand brand than what i do i weigh hands they may wear something else gucci i don't know but it's still tra entrapping folk you know what i'm saying and we still have to wash our behinds the same way you use ivory i use dove you know what i'm saying to wash the body clean oh but anyway i got off a tangent on that but what i'm saying about nene you, you gotta get her grace we gotta keep her in prayer and she's gonna probably come out with some more mess and it's because she has not she has no outlet, no filter, no person that she can go to and just lay her head down in and say, you know, sing me a lullaby or give me a hug. The world has beat me up today, you know, <clears throat> because she was Greg's everything when he had succumbed to uh, living out the whole thing of matrimony when it said to death to us part through sickness and hell. You know, she already went through that and adjusted herself according to living life without Greg. So I believe until Nene finds some well I ain't gonna say fine because you know maybe you know we don't need Nene to find nobody, okay? So let's keep her in prayer that if she does want a suitor or another husband or whatever that the Lord bring it to her. Uh, and and you know if she does get one I think she can settle down. But it's gonna be hard to find somebody like Greg. You see what I'm saying? Cause Greg took a lot. You know he it, but he knew how to shut her up too. He knew how to bring her back down you know ground her when she got a little bit too uh flying at the pants and trying to get sideways with the mouth you know he 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 calmed her down in that way and right now you know she probably pretty much needs that but it's no one that can actually give that to her at least i don't know if they can you know if they can please come and help this woman before she has another tantrum out there and she burned bridges that's unforgivable and unmendable I think that's where you, it's, well, y'all know what I'm going with it. Uh, when you tear something up to a, uh, it can't be repaired regardless because too much was said and you can't take your words back. We need somebody to, uh, come in and saddle Miss, um, um, Nene Leaks till she goes into submission and she learns how to kind of keep her mouth, you know, out of, uh, dangerous waters in a sense. That can probably bite her in the butt later on. And you know like I said people just have to have more empathy now. Uh, around people that are grieving. And sometimes they react out of just what they feel. And it, you know right now she might feel emptiness. She might feel loneliness. She might feel betrayed. You know because Nini is the type of person. She feels everybody should do what she do and how she do it. And that's a dangerous way to be thinking. Because sometimes my mom, well, my mom is kind of like Nene. She wants things done her way when she said it, how she said it. And, and, and if it's not done that way, it's going to be hell to pay. You know what I'm saying? Until you actually do it that way. Or somebody bigger than her comes around and tells her that she's admiring uh, or respects. Tell her, no, this was done correctly. You need to not do that to, you know, your daughter or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Or son. So, uh, yeah. But honey, I just had to do this video and show y'all the culprits that Nene was calling out. Instead of just saying their names and, you know, us just, you know, being okay with it. But, you know, she had to go be incognito with it. And then the day uh, she brought out who actually sent the flowers. Because, you know, it was, it, we were trying to figure it out. How the hell I was. I was getting up everybody. You know, the Caucasian persuasion. But then that dude, uh, I mean, not the Caucasian persuasion, but the black persuasion and a caucasian of uh, flavor if any was in there but you know i thought kim had chipped in and stuff of that nature let me take a sip of my mountain dew hold on guys 
Okay. I had to get that. My mouth kind of felt kind of porched. But anyway. Yeah, I don't think it was a bad idea. You know what I'm saying? If it was me in the mix, I said, no. Flowers die. And then she'll be throwing out just truckloads of flowers. You know what I'm saying? Putting them in garbage. Uh, in the garbage bags and trying to lug them out there. She'll be talking about us about why we brought her all these flowers knowing they're going to die, going to remain her, remind her Greg gone. And, you know, I went and did it. Also, mm-mm. Let's get that girl some wine. Let's get that girl some uh, gift cards where she can go eat. Uh, if she want to go grocery shopping, let's get her some gift cards to go grocery shopping. You know what I'm saying? Because that was still money, but it was in something that she could use when she get ready to use it. And it's not just sitting up there building interest. Like, you know, she's saying Marlo had gave her money and stuff like that. And Candy had gave her a, a big, big, expensive array of flowers. Um, but that's pretty much what she said about it. Else, so she just pointed out those two. So it's gonna be some backlash again. And then I on another video I'm gonna make tonight. Honey, Cynthia Bailey was over there doing another podcast or uh, uh, with E News or something. And they had Nene, uh, 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 we call it version of what she spoke on uh, in Atlanta, um, V103 with Big Tigger. They had her playing a video and they had Cynthia looking disgusted. Like, do you really have a reason to be disgusted, Cynthia? Because we ain't through with you. Nene Shoal ain't through with you. And as long as Nene ain't through with you, Cynthia, I ain't through with you. Because you can't go up there and play big head. And all like that, you're going to put your two cents in. You ain't got no two cents in to put in, Cynthia. You, you, you left them in the safe with Mark. Oh, uh, was that Mike? I'm sorry. You left him in there with Mike when you didn't show up. But that's another venting that I'm going to do on another video about Miss Cynthia trying to come out of pocket. Like, uh, uh, we, you ain't lost nobody. We don't need to hear nothing from you. You should have just went on in the sunset. Let shit be buried. But see, you keep starting stuff. And you know Lenithia is going is to have the last say. So, you know you can't go tit for tat with her. And ain't nobody going to sit up there and be on your side when shit go left and she comes strictly for you. Because Nene loves the camera. She loves to say what she got to say. And I, you going to be the first one crying, Cynthia. So I think you need to tow your hold, your, tow your, hold, tow your row or whatever they said back in the day. How my mom used to say it. They used to be saying some crazy stuff that I call myself using these days. So I must was listening a little too intently back then when I was a child. huh? But anyway. That's all I have for this video, guys. Y'all let me know. Of oh, these beautiful ladies chipped in and Nene just shut them down. <laughs> she said, y'all talk about y'all got money, this, that, 30. Y'all going to sit up here and give me a 200. Y'all should have gave me $200 a piece is what y'all should have gave me. That's what Nene was looking for, honey. She was looking for money. But Nene from old school, honey. She She's like, when you somebody die, she got to take care of the family for at least a week or so she got to make sure they eat good she got to make sure the ministers over there are ministering to them about their you know a loved one being gone and and, and I, girl nene just be doing too much but like i said nene what you do for other people don't think it's going to be reciprocated back to you when you need it just keep your love and your trust in god above and definitely he will take care of your every need okay can we get an amen from everybody amen 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 all right guys y'all like love this video make sure you definitely share this girl stuff i'm this girl so y'all make sure y'all share my family share family y'all family with me so share my stuff okay share 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 my stuff and definitely like my videos and we gotta we, we gotta tell nene she ain't white john rivers running around here she needs to just just go on and just tone it down okay tone it down because she got six months to a year in my book that clown as much as she want because greg was just like freaking fret like portia and um uh, Phaedra was freaking frat. That's how um, Nene was to Greg. That was her frat. And she was freak. You see what I'm saying? Uh, Shirley Temple. No, it was Laverne and Shirley. You know what I'm saying? It goes like peanut butter and jelly. Bologna sandwich and mayonnaise. You know? Okay. Salad dressing on the salad. So, she don't have her better half anymore. I really feel when she gets another person she's interested in, she's going to calm down. Um, uh, real good, real good, and she's gonna be ready to take the world by storm. Cause Nene is the type of person where she has to have a companion. You know what I'm saying? A male companion. Uh, she's not one of those people that can just go without. 
And you know, that's most people, there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong at all with that. But you know, she needs to take her time. She needs to find herself and she needs to, you know, really keep some thoughts to herself. Not make everything public. Keep it kosher. Keep it between friends and off social media, off the airwaves. Because somebody, somebody's not going to like it and they're not going to be empathetic towards her continually you know coming out on people and expressing things because she's not of the caucasian persuasion you know what i'm saying we can only look they can only look the other way for so long before they staple you as being you know a troublemaker or somebody we don't want to represent our uh company or our brand you know what i'm saying so if everybody can just pray for nene give her the benefit of the doubt and hopefully she'll definitely get her act together sooner rather than later. Alright guys, I'll see y'all next video. Bye-bye.